seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Shall we begin? Hi friends and welcome back to the channel. I am I, Mohammed Ibrahim Architecture and Interior Designing Projects. Since you had seen my project work through videos which I had uploaded a year ago of the project known as IAAS which stands for Institute of Aviation and Aviation Safety. If you haven't seen then link is given above as well as below in the description title. So from this video I would like to show you the whole project in a video series of IAAS Institute of Aviation and Aviation Safety. Hope you would like it. So let us start the show. In this video I would like to show you how was the design process. We took two whole days to conceptualize the design process. After making hundreds of scribblings one after the other, sketching, planning, making different alternatives, keeping in mind all the basic requirements and needs of the client, we came out with something different and something unique. Let us see what it was. As you can see on the screen, the very first conceptual design of IAAS, there is a reception as soon as we enter the floor area through the lifts with waiting area having a three seated sofa with center table respectively. Opposite to it is the principal's cabin with a six seated L shaped sofa. As we go inside through the central passage of four feet wide, we can see a library with three classrooms respectively. Adjacent to the lift is a 3 feet wide service passage which leads to number 2 office cabins, AC plant room, staff room was provided on the corner side. The main reason of providing staff room towards the corner was that any lecturer who wants to go in a semi open space for refreshment and go from the door which was provided for refuge area on our floor. If one feels tired or wants to relax can go and chill out on the huge refuge floor area. As we go towards the fire exit door there are services provided for toilets and pantries. So we designed five toilets in a very congested area without anyone feeling as though the toilets were very congested and on the opposite side we designed a cute pantry. This was our very first conceptual design which was appreciated by all the members of the management system. As it was scrutinized some flaws were removed and some changes needed to be done in space management as per their requirement. They wanted the reception to be a cabin in the waiting area with more seating arrangements provided. They wanted the library to be at one end of the institute. Our office area was provided with two sides or the two facades with fixed glazed with one openable window in the center of the glazed facade for evacuation during fire and that was another concept which was which we gave on the central way which directly leads to the evacuation window straight. As you can see on the screen after rectifying the design I personally wanted to create something which gave a visual theme on some or the other elements. I remember when I told my mother that I wanted to create a visual depicting element which would look like any part of the airplane as well as which would be functional too. So we designed doors in front of the lift similar to that 
of an aircraft door with a curvature as similar to an aircraft's door with oval windows having white borders respectively. After all R&D, research and development, we created another unique element of library table which looks very similar to the body of an aircraft as though we are sitting in the aircraft and looking out from those oval windows with white borders respectively. Now let us observe the floor layout as you can see on the window. 32 inches by 32 inches vitrified tiles were used in maximum space with borders of 4.5 inches wide inlay tiles in tiles which is a very unique technique. For inlay work, expensive craftsmen were hired to do the challenging job of the inlaying tiles in tiles. Two classrooms were created on tiers raised by 2 inches 4 times respectively. To create and give a feeling of exit path lights which you hear by the cabin crews during the training given to them in the flight. We gave bordering to the side of the corridors or passages which leads to the exit staircase. It gives a proper look in the dark as it is being radium finished material. All the columns were used functionally by providing storages on the vertical face of the column. Observing the RCP layout, it means reflected ceiling plan of IAS, total 66 luminous light of 2 feet by 2 feet, sound transmission system used throughout the institute for any announcement. Every classroom were provided with projectors suspended from the ceiling ceiling mounted speakers with grill were installed in every cabin as it is the best way to address important announcements let us see the firefighting layout of our institute in total 26 sprinklers were installed with smoke detectors above ceiling as well as below ceiling respectively it means alarm system in case of emergency are installed in the passages to keep an eye on the students during examination and for security purposes CCTV surveillance installed by providing cameras with high megapixels. Heavy panel doors were used with one and a half hour of fire rating. Let us see more about this institute in our coming next video. Hope you like it. So guys, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up and if you are new to this channel, you can hit the subscribe button and press the bell icon for getting the new updates whenever I post a new video. And you can share this knowledge with your colleagues and friends. Thanks a lot guys. Take care. Bye.